It is Auto Corner Adventure Time. Tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. Renting this, which is the same trailer we used when we towed the BMW M5. Messy! Good as well. It's a D5 album, so we got plenty of power. And today is gonna be a special day. Hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we're gonna tow two cars today. So that's the plan at least. Today, we bought this piece of shit, which broke actually on the way home. And, and I was actually really sad. And then the second time, my, my, my friend's M5 broke, so we had to tow that as well. I surely know how to pick car dealers, and if you want, uh, always the E36 or something like that to sold by really, really sketchy people. So it would be fun to see um, <laughs> how they people bring a trailer. That's how you pick up a car, always in a trailer. But I don't know if I can film in there, but uh, I'm trying. So in this beautiful BMW 316i, which is quite fucked, if the sunroof works. Sunroof seems to work at least. This thing gear knob is totally loose. I like, I like, oh, sh oh. I like when you sort of buy cars from like a sketchy dealer. Everything is just everything is just wrong on the car. Plastic trim is loose. This plastic trim is loose. This car is fucked. doesn't have the adjustment like this was such a beautiful compact that leather seats the wood inlay and everything is fucking broken it's so sad to see because these cars they're very unique I mean who the fuck specced a compact like this back in 1997 I want to meet this this person who did it this is probably like a 25,000 euro 25,000 euro car back in 1995 or 97 and it's I mean it's totally broken, man. Look at this. What the hell is this? Oh, I feel the tires right up my ass, right there. That's that's perfect. Oh, this car is in great condition. It 
There's like no gearbox oil in this car whatsoever. Performance mode. I mean, I sh I, you're not supposed to buy cars from a sketchy dealer, but... Yeah. This is why you shouldn't buy cars from a sketchy dealer. This thing is like shit. I'm so disappointed because I really wanted a highly specced out compact because there is no one in the entire world that's normal that will buy something like this, except me. And I want one that's in good condition, but sadly, this one is, is not in good condition. So I'm gonna switch Like I said, you should never buy cars from sketchy dealers because you drive one, in one hour just unnecessary and the car was so shit, so I went there, talked to the guy and uh, we negotiated a little bit lower price which was uh, 1,100 euros, uh, 1,200 euros, so I don't know what to give him 1,000 euros and uh, then I said I'm not paying that so I started driving away and said call what you can get for the price you want I was talking to the car, I could test drive the car. And oh my god, that car was so far gone. It was so far gone, dude. Because it's not far gone, you can still drive it and have fun with it and so on and so forth. But you can do that in a car that's five, 500 euros. I wanted that car because it had leather seats, it had its sunroof, it had even seat the changer. And it had this beautiful wood interior. But sadly, the entire car is ruined. It was has not been taken care of. And, uh, I'm not gonna be the 19th owner of that car, so... On to a new, other, other cars, other 360s. And the store that you buy a coffee from is closed. That's so sad. Honestly, when you think about the outside, this thing is humongous, this trailer. Look at it. I mean, I think it's so funny that you bought, bought this man bought the burnt car. You're a lucky man. Of course. This no, is but the, my second Audi. Well, the first one was better looking. <laughs> so the guy thought he thought he's gonna burn the car or something like that. And then you have the crucial. You don't have an engine on it. But you have the differential, right? The rear diff? No. Ah, he took it out. He took it out. Yeah. I looked on the on the ads and uh, he, he put it there. But you get the server pump, no? Everything you see here, it's for, for grabs. Look at this. You know what? It's really, really nice on the, on the doors. Quite surprised. Actually, me too. I thought they're gonna be burnt. Yeah. You know what I also thought? Isn't the brake disc bigger on this car? Yeah. yeah. Because you can take the. Um... Ah no! You already took it. You already took the calipers. Yeah. You took the calipers at Monaco. Because this brake disc are much bigger. Yeah. But I think they're like mine. No, this must be I don't know 250 millimeters or something like no bigger. That you have the, the different uh, brake system. But hey, the suspension looks actually very. How many miles is this car? I don't know, but it looks really good. I think the suspension is in good shape. Yeah. It looks very clean. Yeah. 
Of course, but uh, yeah. Oh, and this is the igniter. <laughs> this is what he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep the seat. No. <laughs> yes, of course, I'm gonna stop it. No, but the gauges. Oh. Yeah. But hope they. May, I hope you can clean it out. No, uh, no, it's. No it's problem. Uh, you think? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. No problem there. This, it's sad oh. that it didn't make it. But well, it's, it's it so made good. It, but it has this uh, small. I forgot when I was driving. <laughs> so we drive. But maybe he has somewhere to watch the. Ah. Yeah. 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 And everything so I just got this just in case I, I'll probably only use these but but they're the not end, the same color as no no so in the end I just found these at Returbila and I only got this you know what you can open up you can open up an Audi specialist ah, no. with Returbila at home at the Romanian guy nah. yeah and if you buy like 10 parts you get one of those yeah <laughs> of course <laughs> Of course. Ah, it's gonna be super super. So a very interesting day. I left Mr. Julian, the Romanian car hacker, and his burnt out the A6 at home. I'm driving the trailer a little bit faster now to, uh, to have time to leave it there. So I don't have to wake up at 7 a.m. But uh, overall, a fun, uh, fun, uh, fun experience. Uh, I never ever towed a burnt car before. It was uh, very fun, and Julian is also a, a Romanian car hacker. Is also a fun, very uh, good guy, funny guy. Uh, I mean, who in the right mind would bought the burn out the A6? So it's probably going to come an update. Actually, has a very cool project. He's going to swap out. Uh, Quite a lot of things from a facelift of the A6 to the non facelifted of the A6, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I'm driving home now. Beautiful day. That's good. I have a moon just in front of me, and uh, it's three degrees outside. 